Mortal Kombat 1's first big patch finally came out and almost 24 hours we finally have patch notes to go over and man there is there is a lot to talk about. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's jump into these patches and kind of discuss the big points that you need to know And the first thing that I want to talk about the first thing that has to be mentioned is I'm gonna do you guys a favor So patch notes always fix things right that they're, they're patches they fix things and and just to show you I'm, I'm just gonna scroll I'm scroll I'm scrolling I'm, just, I'm still scrolling okay so the first thing I want to show you is is this is kind of a big point here So I'm gonna command find and look at the word fix okay Do you see that? The word fix is here 97 times, and that's not including some lines here that do fix stuff, like right here, the first one, move list corrections, which means they fixed the move list corrections, which means out of all these lines here, there are easily over a hundred fixes just in this patch alone. I love Mortal Kombat with my entire being, but this is almost undeniable proof that the game was just not ready to come out when it came out, man. When it launched, it had so many things to fix. It took them a month, they finally did it, and we got over a hundred fixes. I can't go over all of these notes. I mean, I can't go over every single line. That's a hundred. I can't, I can't do that, man. So we're gonna go over the big things that you need to know about, especially the characters, of course. We got some Halloween stuff in the store. We got Wuxi Academy concepts for the, for the stages in the game. They fixed a lot of things, of course, with, you know, the UI, the training mode, Mode, online stuff tutorial mode text adjustment stuff like that where it's like minor things you might not have noticed but were definitely in the game some things you might have noticed like all the audio issues or the visual issues with brutalities and more so overall gameplay adjustments they just they fixed a lot they fixed a lot of the the minor bugs the minor issues the big issues the big bucks stuff that like you maybe you never noticed but you maybe saw a tweet about or whatever it's in the game they fixed it they even have their own practice mode section here where they fix a lot of things in in practice mode, including playback recording, damage text is on if detected to zero damage. They fixed the get up slash reversal issues. You can see they just fixed a lot of practice mode stuff. They have a giant list here for invasions, you know, a lot of the camera positionings, a lot of the UI, the stats, the talismans, uh, elemental armor. They they have, they have a lot of things in invasions that they actually fixed, which is kind of unfortunate because for players like myself, who I've already completed invasions, it's like we had to go through all these problems before they got fixed and we still completed invasion so if you haven't completed invasions before or you tried to and you've you know you've ran into a lot of issues well they've hopefully been fixed now so you are more likely to have more fun in invasions and not hit so many issues because they've been fixed here story mode obviously we've heard the audio issues and the visual issues they fixed those few things now here are the character specifics ashra didn't really get touched i mean here her forward three can no longer be two and one in council and up block and a visual issue great baraka again i can't go over every single detail of all the characters but i'll go over the big things you need to know about especially for baraka here who is a big character in the game and people know he's high tier so they played him don't pretend like you love baraka you were playing because he's top tier we know it a lot of his moves got increased damage scaling when hit out of synced animation that just means like if you're doing it in a combo uh that just increased damage scaling so basically the you know if you, the more you use in a combo whatever it's going to be damage scaled pretty hard so if you use chop chop twice three times in a row or in a combo it's going to get damage scaled pretty Hard, thus reducing his damage output with these moves in a combo, especially if you use it more than one time, obviously. And that's the big one. Basically, basically his stab stab and his chop chop. And we have some minor fixes here, but that's really about it. General Shao got some crazy fixes too. Basically, issues that were caused with his gameplay, no like no like damage scaling or anything like that. More like visual issues or, oh, whenever he did this move, for some reason he was turned backwards or like whatever. It was it's just dumb fixes for General Shao. No major buffs or nerfs for him, but Garrus, all, you can see this is a pretty big fix for Garrus. Got a lot of stuff there. Basically a lot of it's dealing with his double time and his time clones. Fixing a lot of issues that that caused in a fight. Visual issues you see here, the, you know, the visual with the eye color, stuff like that. But if you do his one, two, two grab combo in a combo, it's got bigger damage scaling. So that kind of sucks. His his history lesson move has increased combo damage scaling as well so that also got nerfed so a small nerf to garris but mostly just issues with his gameplay and kind of what was going on with his time stuff havoc had some damage scaling applied to him as well so that's also a nerf with him and then just issues with you know animations and visuals with him as well johnny cage though considered top tier didn't really get a ton of stuff done with him which is kind of weird because they, they touched melina kenshi raiden baraka but they got to johnny cage and they're like yeah just just leave him who cares no one's gonna notice like bro 
know, he fixed two things here and they weren't even doing this gameplay. Repeating sound effect, okay. And then an issue where this move would cause some characters to recover excessively slow. It's like, he, he didn't get really nerfed or buffed. He just got fixed and that, hello? But Alex, he doesn't have a projectile. I don't, I don't want to hear it. I, he didn't really get touched, which is kind of weird to me, but whatever. The biggest thing with Kenshi is like when you enhance spiritual alignment, used while Shijinko mimic ancestors is active as well, no longer allows for two ancestors to be active at the same time. I don't know why they didn't think about that beforehand, but they fixed it, I guess. Uh, but again, no major buff, no major nerf with Kenji, just some stuff that kind of, kind of like Gearus, where it's like his gameplay has a lot of crazy things going on and that they didn't really plan for everything. So they went through his gameplay and they kind of fixed a few things they didn't really think about. Katana actually got a small buff where her fancy strike and high heal now have positive hit advantage. That's pretty cool. Kung Lao got a buff and a nerf because his nerf is actually slightly increased combo damage scaling after enhancing the Shaolin Shimmy. But his hat toss hit reaction adjusted and now has positive of a hit advantage when done up close. That's cool. Lee Mae just had some visual stuff with her fix. No major buff or nerf. Melina got nerfed pretty hard. You're gonna see here increased damage scaling, increased damage scaling, you know, increased combo damage scaling, visual effects. So kind of the same way. They kind of fixed a few things animation wise, but then gave her a nerf. This is crazy. Natara's blood sacrifice now does five damage when it was 50. So that got nerfed pretty hard. Besides that, they just fixed some like visual stuff and seeing things that weren't supposed to happen. So she kind of got a nerf with the blood sacrifice. Raiden, oh, your boy here, he got nerfed pretty bad too. Doesn't matter, he's always been my main and always will be, but, but Lightning Strikes has increased combo damage scaling when hit. Shocker has increased combo damage scaling. Increased combo damage scaling for Enhanced Shocker. Electric Fly has increased combo damage scaling. And every single one of his air combos, he's got three of them, well, all of them had their hit reaction adjusted. The most notable one, in my opinion, was his 2-2-4 in the air. No longer bounces your opponent, it just slams into the ground. So, so besides doing the electric fly in the air, uh, uh, Raiden's air combo was bouncing. He has none now. So your best option is just to jump, hit one, or hit two, land before your opponent, continue the combo from there. But, but no longer massive air combos. Well, you know, bouncing combos from Raiden, plus increased combo damage scaling on a lot of stuff here. So nothing but a nerf to Raiden. Yeah, I hate to see it. Rain got hit reaction adjusted as well. On a couple moves here, some visual fixes. Uh, one of his moves is now vulnerable to up block. For those that actually do the up block mechanic, they just fixed a lot of things with his game. Gameplay. Again, no major buff, no major issue, no major nerf. Rico had a couple things done, hit reaction adjusted, fixes input issues here, and a rare issue that could cause the AI to get stuck endlessly jumping a fatal blow misses. See, just some weird things with Reiko. Reptile had his tipping the scales, hit reaction adjusted. He had his death roll has increased combo damage scaling. But what's cool is the enhanced invisibility now causes Reptile to become harder to see faster. So it's nice that the invisibility, you know, it still takes a minute, but you're harder to see a lot faster than it used to because it takes, it used to take forever, man. And they fixed his blood coloring okay scorpion had burning fist and crushing kunai hit reaction adjusted and then a visual issue fixed they fixed and down she can no longer do her like unblockable infinite combo so that's nice to see shang just like ken she and garris has a lot of things going on with his gameplay uh, a lot of things they just didn't see coming so they went through and fixed a lot of his crap like oh when when he's this person this doesn't do this no more so they just fixed a lot of his stuff smoke smoke bomb no longer ignores combo damage scaling on the last hit and then just some visual errors with smoke so he kind of is stayed the same give or take they just fixed sub-zero's couple things visual issues and whatever tanya kind of got buffed and nerfed here like her payday now has two more active frames re two recovers two frames faster excuse me on miss and has a different hit reaction when hitting an airborne opponent so that's cool but her brought low does have increased combo damage skilling message from above is now vulnerable to up block again for those that actually use that mechanic nothing too crazy but they kind of just fixed a lot of her stuff now with the cameos there's a lot of things here that uh that kind of are across the board for all the cameos so i'll go over a couple of big ones that apply to a lot of the cameras like for an example cyrax here obviously they adjusted the combo damage scaling on copter chopper and the horizontal copter chopper but when you cancel copter chopper into the horizontal version of it that costs 50 percent of your cameo bar so using the copter chopper uses 50 to cancel that in the horizontal version costs another 50 percent so if you want to cancel that and just do the horizontal copter chopper that takes your entire cameo bar now that's kind of crazy they fixed some camera issues and whatnot but but the copter chopper was the real big thing the damage scaling and how much it costs to actually use it Darius got some normal fixes where they just fix some visual stuff and like you know bugs they fixed a bug for frost but now here's where it kind of gets interesting so for goro you see here increased recharge delay of raise the roof when used more than once in the same combo so that's saying hey you can use raise the roof 
twice in a combo. But if you do use it twice, you're gonna have an increased recharge delay, so it's not gonna come back as fast. So they're trying to incentivize you to just use it once get the faster recharge and your combo and then try a different combo use raise the roof again and now you keep the normal recharge rate but if you use it twice in one combo they're gonna kind of penalize you and now you have increased recharge delay on that move and that's gonna be the same for a few of the moves here for cameras you're gonna see same with jacks if you slightly increased recharge delay on backbreaker if you use more than once in a combo and same with kano and the knife toss but kung lao they adjusted the recharge rate of the buzzsaw and then spin no longer has incorrect hit reaction when done as a reversal so they fix that small issue real quick they just fix some bugs with motaro but then serena has that increased recharge delay on the blade so if you use those more than once in a combo you have increased recharge delay so again they're really trying to say hey you can use the cameos moves twice in a combo but if you do you're gonna have increased recharge delay so they're trying to say don't do it uh but you can if you want to scorpion increased recharge delay on fire breath if you use more than once in the same combo same with sector and the rocket same with sonya and the square wave and leg grab if you use more than once in the same combo same with striker on the low grenade toss and the high grenade toss shajinko kind of like shang soon kenshin garris had a lot of bugs that they didn't really see coming uh as shajinko uses the, you know their opponent's cameo moves and stuff like that so they just fixed a lot of stuff with shajinko as he's of course more of a wild card and they just saw some issues and just fixed what they could you know you see here roll with melina drill kick tanya charging pain reiko and garris they'll no longer sometimes cause alternate hit reactions some stuff like that where they they just didn't see that coming when like when Shijinka would use Melina's rule, what would happen, which again, I don't know why you don't have game testers test all this out, but they 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 just put the game out, said figure it out. Oh, there's a there's a thing wrong, we're gonna fix that. So with cameos, some of them got damage scaled like Cyrax and stuff, but for the most part, the majority of them, you know, we have Goro, Jax, Kano, Serena, Scorpion, stuff like that, where if you use the same move twice in the same combo, you now have increased recharge delay. So I recommend going for it, just use it once, say your bar and the combo let your opponent drop and then do another combo and if it hits now you have of course you have more cameo to use but now you have the normal recharge rate you're not getting delayed for that so i get it i mean i i, I understand i've seen the jacks i've seen the kano i've seen the scorpion i've seen the serena i've seen these combos i've seen these cameo moves of course be hit twice in a combo yes your opponent is using the entire cameo bar to do that but they're of course getting a crazy combo whatever blah blah blah, blah. so now they can still do that you can still do that but but again you're now getting penalized for it so just take that for what it is over a hundred i might even say 200 200 fixes man and this entire patch including the characters the cameos the general gameplay fixes there is a ton to go over i mean i'm glad it finally came out they have a ton they, they fixed a ton which is again really good to see invasion story mode practice mode general gameplay fixes characters cameos they fixed a ton some characters got a small buff some got a nerf pretty hard with damage scaling a lot of the cameos most of the cameos got nerfed as well they kind of just toned down the game and it's like yeah this is kind of crazy we're gonna tone it down a little bit so with that being said my dudes let me know down below what do you like about this patch what do you not like about this patch this is going to be a pretty big controversial topic this is the first big patch that mortal kombat has put out since launch so again i want to hear your thoughts did they do a good job did, did you hate the new patch what are your thoughts let me know down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat content i'll keep you posted on everything that i can i'll see you in the next one until then take it one step at a time